Are you in love right now? Is your FB status in a relationship or single? If so, are you looking for love? A lot of people have been looking for the perfect guy or the perfect girl to come along for quite a while. But they seem to be elusive. Why? Because they don't exist. There is no such thing as a perfect lover, nor a perfect relationship. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Being human, not one of us will ever have a relationship with another person that doesn't have a wrinkle or a wart on it somewhere. The unblemished ideal exists only in happily ever after, fairy tales. The sooner we accept that as a fact of life, the better we will be able to adjust to each other and enjoy togetherness. If you look for a perfect person before you decide to fall in love, then you will never fall in love because there's no such a person. We come to love not by finding a perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. But it doesn't mean that when you look for someone that you're going to spend the rest of your life with, that you just pick randomly because no one is perfect anyway. You need divine guidance. You must ask the Lord for His leadings, not to find the perfect person, but the right person God has prepared for you to love and to love you in return the way He does. He will surely guide you and teach you how, for He knows what true and perfect love is, because He is the only source and author of love. In fact, God is love. He who doesn't love does not know God, for God is love. Jesus has purchased you with His own life. You belong to Him. Therefore, He is to be consulted in all things as to how the powers of your mind and the affections of your heart shall be employed. Therefore, true love is a high and holy principle, altogether different in character from that love which is awakened by impulse and which suddenly dies when severely tested. True love is not a strong, fiery, impetuous passion. On the contrary, it is calm and deep in its nature. It looks beyond mere externals and is attracted by qualities alone. Love is a precious gift which we receive from Jesus. Pure and holy affection is not a feeling, but a principle. Those who are actuated by true love are neither unreasonable nor blind. And it rhymes well with what the scripture says. In 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 8, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Is it possible to manifest and find this kind of love though? It is, not by human strength, but by His strength and by His leadings and direction. You will find not the perfect one, but the right one in His perfect time. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. This is Delfred. And this is Zion Amber. Reminding you to take the Bible as your weapon of choice and keep the faith. And if God is with us, who can be against us? This, this is... Take the talk. talk.